down. Let's show them who we are. I don't care, don't give a damn for sponsorships or brand collabs. But let me say, without a doubt, this is the sound of selling out. You don't want to know how far I'd go, how low I'd stoop. If you only knew the pandering I'm prepared to do. Cause I have seen my name in shining lights, but I wish it was in black and white for the world to see immortalized as a crossword clue in the New York Times. Yes, I know my name's too long. I never had a big hit song. And it's a long shot and I'm not proud, but this is the sound of selling out. You don't want to know how far I'd go, how low I'd stoop. If you only knew the pandering I'm prepared to do. Cause I have seen my name in shining lights, but I wish it was in black and white. For the world to see immortalized as a crossword clue in the New York Times. I swear if I ever see my name hinted at on that page, I will bask in validation. The black hole inside me will finally close. And I shall ascend to my heavenly home Knowing all the pain was worth it It was worth it Cause I have seen my name in shining lights But I wish it was in black and white For the world to see immortalized As a crossword clue in the New York Times I have seen my name If I could sneak my way in just one time As a crossword clue in the New York Times As a crossword clue in the New York Times As a crossword clue in the New York Times And now a little ditty about a our beloved, maybe most beloved, uh, Minnesota institution. Hey Bob, it's been a while since I wrote to you. I heard you're in Montana now. About to make a move New York is always great And London has its trains but Don't forget the old Midwest In your planning phase And the mall of America All you'll ever need All our hopes and dreams At the mall no idea the horror and the pain listening to Christmas music 14 hours a day well I'd love to burn it down or blow it all sky high well I don't know much about that but I think you might at the mall of America all you'll ever need All our hopes and dreams At the Mall of America Greatest mall in history And if you
you blew it up, I know they'd only build it all again. Millions over budget on some hotshot architect. They lobby at the legislature, stick us with the bill. If you terrorists don't kill us, then the politicians will. signing off I'm late for work again I missed the bus and I had to walk from Minneapolis if you decide to visit stop and say hello 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 I'll be at the kiosk selling sunglasses tell clothes at the mall of America all you'll ever need All our hopes and dreams At the Mall of America It's the biggest mall It's not the biggest mall But still the greatest mall It's still the greatest mall It's the greatest mall in history Thank you. This next song is about something that you see in nature sometimes. It's kind of a beautiful thing that happens. I notice it mostly when I'm uh, out in the suburbs at a sports bar on a game day. <laughs> and, uh, you know, uh, it's when a group of uh, bros who have been, uh, you know, at the bottle all day, you know, watching their team probably lose. I don't know. It seems like all the teams ever do is lose. Uh, that's as much as I know about sports uh, <laughs> right there. When they've been kind of hard at it, they, they kind of lose the ability to stand for themselves or walk around, so they just sort of congeal into like a single like quivering bromass, if, if you will. <laughs> and, and if you get close to them, if you don't startle them or, or frighten them, then you just, you just hear them saying the most beautiful things to each other. And I, I think that kind of non-toxic masculinity should be celebrated, and uh, so... Wrote a little song about it. This is called That's Just the Whiskey Talking. <laughs> she says, You're a loud mouth, and we all know it's true. You can be dramatic when you've had a few But when you say your whole world's hanging by a thread Aw, Jed Well, that's just the whiskey talking Sure, you're kind of lazy You never follow through You might be a man-child Maybe I am too But when she says you're worthless might as well be dead, aw, oh, Jed. Well, that's just the whiskey talking. Raise a glass to girlfriends past, to sweethearts and lovers, friends we know come and go, but we've got each other. been quiet it's not like me to shout all it takes is bourbon and words come tumbling out 
So when I said I loved you and I'd always be your friend, ah, Jed. Well, that's just the whiskey talking. Hand me the keys, we're walking. That's just the whiskey talking. Thank you. I think one of the big um, one of the big jobs of being an artist, uh, being a songwriter, is that you got to uh, you got to tackle the hard truths. You got to like speak truth to power. You got to ask the big questions. And um, every once in a while, like on my good days, I feel like, oh yeah, I can I can step up to the plate. Sports. Another sports reference. Uh, Solid. You know, I I feel like I I do an okay job of it or whatever. Um, And I I feel like this this song kind of tackles a lot of those things. Um. How many years must an old willow's tears fall all over this land? How many times must a nightingale cry Before we all understand Yes, and who are the top three celebrities You didn't know were actually black I don't know, man I'm just asking big questions How many stones must a broken heart throw Before it's finally loved How many lives must a man live and die For he's forever young Yes, and what did Carrie whisper to Daisy During their big on-screen hug I don't know, man I'm just asking big questions How in the world does Ed Sheeran deal With Taylor Swift shenanigans who put the cryptids inside of the pyramids? Why was it aliens? Ancient aliens. How many skies must a dragon ball fly before it falls to the sea? And what are the top 30 kitchen hacks so good that you'll never believe? And has Connor McGregor been hinting for weeks that he'll fight Muhammad Ali? I don't know, but I think there's a pattern. Stranger things probably happen. It takes courage to be the one asking the big questions. Uh, this next song is for anyone who has, uh, uh, if you've ever had to sit through a workplace mindfulness training seminar, <laughs> um, which may be a lot of you, uh, this, is, this is for you. of modern life have left you stressed take a long slow breath and practice mindfulness if there's any tension let it go feel it from your head down to your toes say this mantra after me six 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 is the number of the beast Feel the breath inside your body, warm and free. If you want to close your eyes and count to three, know that you are perfect how you are. You don't need a halo or a harp. Say this mantra after me. Six, six, six. 
the number of the beast. It may be helpful just to shout Put on some of that devil music And dance it out Shake it to the left, shake it to the right Shake it like your horny ants Friday night Shake it for your mama, shake it for the priest Tell them that six, six, six is the number of the beast. Thank you. Um, I don't have any children, um, which I think makes me uniquely qualified uh, as an expert on parenting. <laughs> and there's this kind of experience that has happened to me many times over the years where, you know, like my good friends come up to me and they're like, Jeremy, we, we have some big news. We're going to have a baby. And, uh, you know, it's a, it's a lot, of, lot of big feelings. And, um, you know, it's kind of my job as a songwriter, you know, is to... Uh, is to name those feelings and to explore those things and not be afraid to dive in there and be brave. Um, so, uh, well, here we go. I think I nailed it on this one. One, two, three, four. Brand new baby, well, good for you. Not really something I would do I've never thought the world could use more people Here's some flowers and old balloons I found them down in the waiting room To wish you all the best on your big day I'll see you in 20 years I'll see you in 20 years when the kids have all grown up and said goodbye I'll be honest, it kinda hurts You didn't run it by me first I thought that I deserved that much at least Sorry I missed your baby shower But it was right during happy hour I just had to pour one out for you I'll see you in 20 years I'll see you in 20 years When the kids have all grown up and said goodbye I'll see you in 20 years Yeah, I'll still be standing here when the kids have all grown up and said goodbye I've never once asked you for anything But at the very least you could have named them after me I'll see you in 20 years I'll buy you a couple beers when the kids have all grown up and said goodbye I'll see you in 20 years I mean, what can I say? Sometimes you just strike gold as a songwriter. And you're like, oh. uh, thank you uh, to our sponsors, the Summit Avenue Swingers Society. Uh, thank you for your continued support over the years. 
Um, you can find out more information about them at summitavenueswingers.org. Uh, also, thank you to the Bryant Lake Bowl. Uh, thank you to the Bryant Lake Bowl. Uh, Dan and I have mostly been playing backyard shows kind of since like COVID hit, really. We've been doing that for a few years. So to play at the upper Midwest, uh, most prestigious bowling alley slash music venue is a real treat for us. So, and a real step up. I think, I think our careers are going to be just skyrocketing after this, this, this show. So thank you to the Bryant Lake Bowl. And thank you to all of you for being here. Uh, I'm going to grab some questions from the inappropriate question box. It's helpful as like, just a vibe check, and we'll see where we can go uh, from here. Uh, how much money do you make? <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> you know, the honest answer is, I don't know. I exactly. I, I really have no idea. Um, I do drive a 2006 Toyota Scion with 240,000 miles on it that... <laughs> That uh, desperately needs a new clutch and is held together with duct tape. So uh, whatever that amount is. Uh, socks in bed, yes or no? Uh, I don't know, but uh, do, pe do people, people do, though, I guess. I'm not going to shame anybody for that. You do what you got to do. I'm, <laughs> I, was just, I was just talking about how terrible my car was, but uh, I do have a uh, heated mattress pad. <laughs> I don't want to... Yeah, I mean, I didn't want to say exactly, but I, I do have a certain quality of life. And, uh, yeah, good questions, everyone. Nice work. Well done. Solid. Uh, this is a tune that I wrote. Uh, there was a saying that I heard a bunch growing up, and it was, um, God created them Adam and Eve, not Adam and Steve. And... Uh, it always left me really confused as a kid. Like, who, like, who the heck is Steve? And uh, what's... I don't remember reading anything about Steve. I don't understand. Um, and that just kind of rattled around in my brain for a number of years until uh, this, this came out. I thought Steve needed his own song and maybe his own perspective in the whole love triangle, you know? Um, yeah, so please enjoy this, uh, this little bit of... Uh, I, guess, I guess this qualifies as steamy Bible fan fiction, so... Uh, <laughs> That's your, uh... Yeah. yeah. Let, me, let me just say, I know my audience, okay? I know, I know what you're here for. All right. Walking in silence, the old woods are quiet Nobody watching, just the trees Evening sky passes, streams through the branches Oh, kiss me under the moonlight, won't you, Steve? She hurt you so bad, you told me you wanted to die If I'm your best friend, there's nothing that I wouldn't try. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Think what could happen, dare to imagine. So many possibilities. We may discover that we could be lovers. So kiss me under the moonlight, won't you, Steve? She hurt you so bad you told me you wanted to die Steve, I'm your best friend, there's nothing that I wouldn't try Ooh, Oh, bad you told me you 
silence, the old woods are quiet. Only your footsteps on the leaves. Things will get better. Try to forget her and kiss me under the moonlight. Won't you, Steve? You seem like the type of audience that would be very receptive to a six-minute folk ballad about professional wrestling. I thought as much. All right. Dan, I'm starting to think we're going to pull this thing off. <laughs> uh, what is your most specific and arguably questionable opinion? Oh, I have so many. Like, like so many that are, just, that are just dumb and probably undefensible. But uh, probably the biggest one that, that drew literal gasps when I, I mentioned this one point is that I think that um, white chocolate 
is underrated? Yeah, uh, my argument is is this. Uh, I mean, it's not really white chocolate. You're looking at you know cocoa solids plus vanilla. So think of it like a, like a really nice vanilla chunk. And dark talk so chocolate tends to dominate everything that it's in baking-wise and cookies, but white chocolate plays so nicely with a variety of flavors. Uh, you know, one of my... <laughs> One of my favorite, one of my absolute favorite cookies is an uh, was an oatmeal, um, uh, like an oatmeal raisin cookie with uh, fresh fresh herbs and a little bit of white chocolate, and it was just it's just great. It's a good time. Uh, what is your most embarrassing s- sex story? That's a great question, uh, but I, I mean, I'm really sorry to kind of disappoint, but um, every time. I have had sex. It has been an absolute miracle and a triumph. <laughs> and uh, there's, there, is, there is nothing but pure glory uh, there. So I, I also, as I do this for a living, I may be incapable of feeling embarrassment, but I don't think about that too much. Uh, do you ever snort when you laugh? No, but I love a snorter. I mean, come on. You, <laughs> snorters make the world go round, really. More question here. Uh, who would win in a mud wrestling match, you or Chris Coza? <laughs> All of us. <laughs> Dan, these questions are for me. Cut his mic. Cut his mic back there. <laughs> it, it was a real weird um, couple of years there during COVID here in Minneapolis. I don't know how your pandemic experience was, but uh, mine was super surreal. And um, I remember especially like locally living in Minneapolis during 2020, it was like all of a sudden like this insanely hyper local stuff, like city council stuff was like national news, you know, as we're trying to like work our shit out. And uh, I really had no idea how to like write about it at all. Like I just... I just couldn't. It was like too much. It was like a weird writer's block. Um, And so I just kind of wrote this, which is just like, I don't know, what everything that happened in like a year. And I I didn't even change anybody's names. It's all like my actual friends' names and stuff that happened to them. So it's like, I guess it's like a non-fiction, fiction fiction song. Okay. I don't know why it's so hard to write a simple Christmas card. This one's a few years late. I'm sorry that you had to wait. Winter's long and summer's short. Not much else to report, and that's life in Minneapolis. Janie smokes a bowl a day. So do I, but anyway. Deb loves the winter cold Scott's out there blowing snow Pickles taste the best to me Eating at the kitchen sink And that's life in Minneapolis Barb and Dave, they almost drowned Canoeing on a lake somehow Courtney had herself a kid Chris and Ann, a couple twins COVID got my uncle Rob Lost mom to QAnon And that's life in Minneapolis Kenza made herself at home I learned to be alone I bought a fixer up her house It's tiny but it counts The helicopters never stop Everybody hates the cops And that's life in Minneapolis Derek murdered Mr. Floyd 5 were so annoying They rode around in unmarked vans Shooting at pedestrians Maggie made a press jacket Out of an old life vest And that's life in Minneapolis
When the Lake Street Arby's burned, the mayor hid behind a fern. Officers used pepper spray and rubber bullets to the face. That's how Linda lost an eye. Press badge ain't worth a dime, and that's life in Minneapolis. The mayor put on quite a show at George's funeral, and then he hid behind the chief. The old guard dragged their feet. The governor he parked a tank on Hennepin and Lake, and that's life in Minneapolis. Derek Chauvin went to jail, Garrison went off the rails, city pages went kaput, city council got the boot, somewhere in there Leah died, don't know why I couldn't cry and that's life in Minneapolis. Little Earth filled up with tents, Chief Arredondo left. Daniel gave me his old bike, I ride around the lake at night. Three cheers for Jeremy, he's back in therapy, and that's life in Minneapolis. Ellen J moved to New York, yada yada dinner fork. I'd like to go there too, but I've still got work to do. That Arby's was a start. Next up, the old Kmart, and that's life in Minneapolis. Yeah, that's life in Minneapolis. Takes the long way home. Meets me in a field of stone. She says, I don't know how I'm supposed to feel. My body's cold, my guts are twisted steel. Like I'm some kind of Frankenstein Waiting for a shock to bring me back to life But I don't want to spend my time Waiting for lightning to strike Puts her hand in mine She says life's a game we're meant to lose But stick by me and I will stick by you Like a princess in a castle high Waiting for a kiss to bring me back to life But I don't want to spend my time Waiting for just some other guy
Thank you. Take a stab at a few more questions here. Uh, how often do you wake up at night to pee? <laughs> I don't think I've ever had that, that question either. These are, these are great. Um, and the answer is, uh, I'd say, I mean, like either zero to one. Although at this point, I'm at the age where it's like, oh, I don't really drink liquids past seven, just, <laughs> just in case, you know. I'd rather just, I just dry myself out a little bit so that way... Uh, that way I don't have to do that. It's really, boy, getting old is fantastic. Let's see here. Uh, what is the most inappropriate name for a kitten? I can't believe you're asking me to be witty on the spot. Do it. Do it. You got this. Appropriate name for a kitten? Uh, oh, I can only think of horrific shit. Yeah. Like, like oh, this is my kitten, Holocaust denier. Or... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> like, like, oh, I didn't name him. He just no, he is. He is a Holocaust denier. This yeah. kitten, and uh, you know, he's probably a white supremacist as well. And you know, it's his middle name. I, I don't know. <laughs> Have you ever smashed a guitar on stage after an awesome show? No, but I would probably smash up my scion with like a sledgehammer at some point if there was like a, an appropriately awesome, awesome show. Uh, can I can I play a few love songs? We got a few more songs left for you. Is that is that cool? If we uh... I know I may not look like much. 2020 was a little rough I'm not worried, no, I've got it planned I want to be your one-night stand We'll check into a dive motel Carpet's worn and the curtains smell TV's old wallpaper bland I want to be your one-night stand Oh We'll get drunk on a box of wine Oh, making love underneath the vacancy sign You don't have to meet my folks I won't bore you with my stupid jokes I'm just a guy with a minivan I want to be your one night stand Oh, we'll get drunk on a box of wine Oh, making love underneath the vacancy sign So let's leave the kids at home Wear that blouse, I'll wear cheap cologne Throw away our wedding bands I want to be your one night stand Thank you very much. Uh, one thing I'm discovering is talking a bunch during these shows is that uh, I don't really like to be revealed as a liar in my songs, so you know that I don't have kids, and uh, you also know that I do not have a minivan. It's a 2006 Toyota Scion. <laughs> so I feel like I'm gutting my own punchlines here. All right. Uh, this is another love song, and uh, this is... Um, I'm just going to say this. That might, this might not be the love song that you want this evening, but it might just be the one that you need, so... You just sit there and take your medicine. Okay. <laughs> I'll put on my good suit, polish up my dress shoes. 
Slick my hair back, whiten all my teeth I've got me a hot date And I don't want to be late Tonight I'm gonna sweep me off of my feet Yes, I'm gonna take me out to some place fancy and order all the breadsticks I can eat. Then I'll stuff my face with chocolate and then ditch the bill and take off. But tonight I'm gonna sweep me off of my feet. I've finally found love to last a lifetime. Someone who'll be there when I get old. A friend who just knows exactly what I'm thinking It takes the time to laugh at all my jokes well, I'll stop on the way home park my El Camino invite myself to hop in the back seat then I'll smoke a giant bowl and eat a whole bag of Doritos cause tonight I'm gonna sweep me off of my feet I'll go to my place Light a bunch of candles I'll dance like no one's watching Cause there ain't I'll take some time And get to know my body <laughs> Take myself to bed then Sleep in late And when I finally wake up I'll make me an omelet And all the Bloody Marys I can drink it might take a whole month just to sleep it all off But tonight I'm gonna sweep me off of my feet Yeah, tonight I'm gonna sweep me off of my feet Tonight I'm gonna sweep me off of my feet Oh, go we've got one more song for you here, and um, uh, I'm gonna play this one. Even though, honestly, this is this song has tanked every other time that I've played it, and uh, there's no reason to think it would work now, uh, I guess. But my ego just keeps demanding that I that I that I play it because I just think to myself, is it the song? Is it is it me? <laughs> no. No, it's no, it's the audience that is wrong, and it's it's the audience that has been wrong every single time. And uh, this this song slays. It just it just kills. It's it's fantastic. Um, so I guess I just keep playing it in the hope that like maybe this is the audience that this song is for. So it's called "When All of This Is Over." <laughs> When all of this is over, if it ever really is I'll get to work on my bucket list And with exquisite pleasure, one after the other Cross them off until there's nothing left When all of this is over, the first thing that I'll do Is find a bar and drink myself to death I'll throw a kegger for my funeral And I'll find rest eternal Buried in my finest gray sweatpants I'm gonna hug my friends I'm gonna hold them tight I'm gonna sing all day I'm gonna dance all night I'm gonna eat a steak At a restaurant and then I'm gonna blow the roof off old St. Paul <laughs> I'll buy a stately mansion up on Summit Avenue and Throw a black tie gothic masquerade And when they ask me later if I know how the orgy started I'll get misty-eyed and smile and look away I'm gonna hug my friends I'm gonna hold them tight I'm gonna sing all day I'm gonna dance all night I'm gonna eat a steak 
at a restaurant And then I'm gonna blow the roof off old St. Paul And those St. Paul swingers They won't know what hit them With all these newcomers at the door So it spills onto the sidewalk Stretches round the whole block to the marble steps of the Capitol. It's a terrible song. <laughs> when all of this is over and I finally bite the dust, hang my head up, transcend space and time. Write a comeback memoir titled Me, The COVID Years And how they were the best years of my life I'm gonna hug my friends I'm gonna hold them tight I'm gonna sing all day I'm gonna dance all night I'm gonna eat a steak But at a restaurant And then I'm gonna blow the roof off old St. Paul yeah, then I'm gonna blow the roof off old St. Paul Yeah, then I'm gonna blow the roof off old St. Paul Thank you very much. Dan Luan, everyone. I was really planning on being back there for like 20 minutes, but <laughs> turns out it's really boring back there. <laughs> There's so much going on in that weird little hallway and the stairs of death down to the bottom of the Bryant Lake Bowl. <laughs> and uh, I'm just going to leave you with this. This is just a little ditty about how good the future can be. I think that the first step to a better world is just to be able to imagine something better. And songs and art are wonderful vehicles for you know, putting these ideas in our heads and getting them stuck there forever, so. I gotta say the future's awesome. Everything is A-OK. -okay. All the work is done by robots. And every day is Saturday. Future people all have jetpacks. Fly around in flying cars. There's so much that I could tell you But the coolest part by far Everybody gets a kitten A new one every single day and Everybody gets a kitten That you can name if you want Or you can give it away well, There is no disease or hunger Zero poverty or war Life is just a giant party and No one here is ever bored And all the factories burn rainbows And you can buy a house on Mars Well, there's so much that I could tell you But the coolest part by far Everybody gets a kitten A new one every single day Everybody gets a kitten that you can name if you want. Everybody now. Everybody gets a kitten. Yes, they do. A new one every single day. Everybody gets a kitten 